Yes, now I'll discuss about the deep perineal pouch. In this diagram, you can see here is urogenital diaphragm. This is covered by superior and inferior fascia of the urogenital diaphragm. Inferior fascia form the perineal membrane. Same diagram, the quadral section. This is superior fascia, inferior fascia is taken to form the perineal membrane. This space between these two fascia, which covers the urogenital diaphragm, which, this space is known as deep perineal pouch. This is superficial perineal pouch, this is deep perineal pouch. This is superficial perineal pouch from here to here. This is deep perineal pouch. So, boundary of deep perineal pouch superiorly by superior fascia of the urogenital diaphragm, superiorly, inferiorly by perineal membrane, by perineal membrane. On each side, istiopubic ramus. And anteriorly, this is closed, posteriorly it is closed by joining these two layers of the fascia, superior fascia and inferior fascia. So this is boundary of the deep perineal pouch. Now content of the deep perineal pouch. This deep perineal pouch contains two muscles which form the pelvic diaphragm. In case of male, you can see here. This is istiopubic ramus. Istiopubic ramus. It is perineal body. Here is muscle that is this, this muscle is deep transverse perineal. This muscle is deep transverse perineal and here is opening of urethra. This is urethra and here is transverse perineal ligament which is anterior thickening of the perineal membrane. So this muscle is deep transverse perineal and another muscle is some fibers arranged in transversely like this and some fibers arranged longitudinally. These forms is sphincter around the urethra. This is sphincter urethra. So these two muscles, superficial and these two muscles, sorry, uh, deep transverse perineal muscle, deep transverse perineal muscle, and sphincter urethra, which has superficial and deep fibers. Deep fibers are horizontal, and superficial fibers are anterior posterior. And here, sphincter is formed. These two structures in male form the urogenital diaphragm. In case of female, here. Again, there is deep transverse perineal muscle, deep transverse perineal muscle, there is opening of urethra, opening of vagina, here transversely arranged fibers cross between the urethra and vagina, like this, we get transversely arranged fiber and here is longitudinally arranged fibers. perineal ligament. So deep transverse perineal, this deep transverse perineal and sphincter urethra, sphincter urethra here for the urinary diaphragm, which is content of this deep perineal pouch. So in, here you can make this diagram.
like this and here is position of B transverse perianal. If you complete this diagram like this, here you will find the prostate gland, here is urethra, this is urinary bladder, this is prostate gland. And here, there is opening up this is uterus, here is cervix, this is vagina, this is cervix and this is vagina, and here is this is levator ani muscle, here is levator ani muscle, this is levator ani muscle. So this is deep perineal pouch, this is deep perineal pouch. And the content, vessels, here is artery, artery to clitoris in case of female, artery to pace in case of male, here is artery to clitoris in case of female. It gives numerous branches, it gives muscular branches, it gives here RT2 bulk, muscular branches, RT2 pura, RT2 bulk, and nerve, pudendal nerve, here is pudendal nerve. It gives muscular branches to these muscles. So these are the content of the deep perineal. So this is all about the deep brain pouch.